Hello everyone and welcome to Four Seasons Whistler, beautiful British Columbia. I'm here up here with Camera Girl on a very short four day vacation and I thought I would share with you what is in my bag when I go on vacation. I think I've done a few of these videos. This time I brought the Wotan Craft Pilot 7 liter in the, I think it's called the khaki uh, colorway. There is like a charcoal color and I also think there's one more size bigger than this. I do have the accessory pouch added on here just because they sent it to me to test, but also I think it looks pretty rad. So let's look what's inside this bag. It's a pretty big little bag. I like it, I like it. I think it's a great bag for travel and for photography and for other things. So let's start the video now. First thing I wanna talk about is actually the material they use to make this bag. It is Kodura. And this was like, I think invented during World War II. It's a high uh, scratch resistant. It's sort of a ripstop material. Um, they say in the literature it's 60% thinner than regular wax canvas, but it's 50% lighter and 10 times stronger than wax canvas. And so it looks like wax canvas, but it is not. It is Cordura and this is a name brand and they do use like name brand throughout. They also use the proper YKK, YYK, YKK zippers through here. And the back one actually has a little zipper hood, so that's nice. And there's a couple of hidden zippers inside here. And as I mentioned here, this is the uh, accessory. Uh, they have kind of like a, a molly vertical strapping along the front here. So they actually gave me two of them. One is a water bottle holder. This is nice. They even give you the straps. You can use this as a separate uh, bag. But um, I thought this was nice because if I did want to just kind of go downstairs and not have to drag everything with me, I have this little bag here. It has a little webbing in the front so you can put I don't know whatever in the front here and I have my little um, Lytra light here and also my full-size titanium charge uh, multi-tool so that you know when I'm on vacation whatever I need to fix or repair I even have a, a diamond honing here so I can even sharpen my knife that I brought up with me which is uh, the the Spyderco native I forgot the name of it and then proper surefire flashlights so these are kind of like my sort of like EDC main kind of tools that I carry with me. Not all fits inside this removable pouch here. And on the outside, they have two sort of side pouches. And in here, I have my external flash that I use, my um, EF X20 flash from Fujifilm. So if sometimes if I need like constant light, I'll use this if I'm doing product photography. But you'll see the cameras that I have in here that I use for that flash. And then finally, just um, a little packable light jacket from Uniqlo. And so those things fit inside. In the city when I'm using this bag, I actually just put my car keys in here because it's quick access. Now this is an optional, I think it's called a fit lock. It's magnetic, so it's cool. You can't pull it apart this way. It's actually slide off, but when you put it back in, like that, isn't that cool? And then like that. I don't know exactly how it works, but it does not pull out this way. So unless you know it slides this way, it's actually very hard to open. So the top flap opens up here. Um, actually, I was gonna sh also show you here. On the bottom, they have these extended straps that you can put uh, a tripod, you can put a jacket or anything where you just need the uh, little extra strap to extend the, the carrying capabilities of this bag here. And so I'm gonna just show you inside what it looks like right there. So it is a seven liter bag. Um, they do give you extra little dividers. I only use one of them. And so you can sort of see um, they in the literature it says up to a 9.7 inch iPad. This is an 11 inch iPad Pro and it easily fits inside here. So uh, you can fit an 11 inch iPad. And because this is vacation, I sometimes bring review gear with me. Um, this time I basically did not. I brought, I mean, I'm gonna do a review on this Minolta 110 SLR Zoom, which is a fun little camera, kind of overbuilt for what it is. And most people say there's nothing wrong with this camera except that it uses 110 film. But I haven't shot 110 film in probably 30 years. And so I thought it would be fun to shoot with this on vacation. And on here I have the, the uh, camera film photo slash Kuda limited edition Japanese silk strap. So I think that looks awesome on here. And then I have the Ricoh GR3, which I've been reviewing since I think November. And I've just been really impressed with the photo capabilities. It's, and this is what I would use the EFX20 flash on. So if I did need uh, to do any flash photography, you know, taking pictures of camera girl and she's backlit, then a flash would fit on here. But as well, a flash does fit on this SLR 110 zoom camera as well. And then finally, my beloved 
Nikon 35Ti. Thank you so much, Vishal from Camp from Voro for uh, sending this out to me. And I, on here I have the Clever Supply uh, wrist strap. I lost that little, the, it does come with a little buckle, but I, I lost it. It's somewhere in one of my bags. And the um, Clever Supply, uh, he really sold me on these Peak Design Anchor System. At first I was a little bit hesitant to use them, but um, I think it looks awesome and it works well. And if you don't want this on, you just kind of quickly take it off. And that's kind of the beauty of using something like this. So I do have these three cameras on vacation, a 110 camera, a GR3, and this 35Ti. So um, it seems like kind of maybe excessive for on vacation, but you know, I am a photographer and I'm a camera nerd and love having gear with me. And as well, I love having good uh, bags with me as well. So you can see the inside there. Again, it does come with uh, two of these dividers, but I typically only use one. Sometimes I put a dop kit on this side and then just one camera, but this is kind of how I work. And I'm showing the in the front here, there is a kind of, it's, it's behind this flap here, is where basically it's sort of like my dop kit, right? So I have my little pouch, I have my notepad, I have my wallet from Exter, so you have your credit cards that just pop out. And it's also aluminum, so it blocks anyone that's trying to scan your credit cards. And then what else do I have in here? Change pouch. And what else? I have my Apple Pencil and just a Sharpie. And in here, I'm not sure if you can see Camera Girl, there's also two little webbing in here. Can you see that? So I actually put my, my wallet in one and then change pouch in the other. So it's a pretty decent size. It kind of goes right down to the bottom. So um, there's lots of sort of these two side pouches, this hidden front pouch, the main pouch, you have your iPad, tablet holder, and then you do have a back zipper here that uh, I basically have two kits of uh, masks as well as wet wipes. Um, typically I don't need two, but on vacation I thought I would just drag two with me. And it has the um, little luggage holder and um, a nice little handle here. So, Woden Craft. Pilot 7 liter. I will maybe do another more thorough bag review, including the the Lightning Rider bag that I also have. But as you can see, camera, if you can back up, you can see how much stuff I was able to fit inside uh, this bag right here. So let's uh, just quickly put everything back in. <music> Alrighty, so there you go. Wolvencraft 7 liter pilot, great as an everyday camera carrier. If you're a street photographer, you like bags between five and seven liters. This is awesome because it is expandable. It's seven liters, but with these side pockets, with the accessories that you can add. So you can actually buy two of these and put them next to each other, take them off, make it slightly smaller. Uh, very easy access, has a really nice soft latex uh, shoulder strap. And in some areas they do use uh, kind of plastic material to keep the bag lighter, but it's a full 360 spin so it never gets caught up in any way, as well as a sort of a quick release. But in other areas, they actually do use brass type hardware, like the proper YKK zippers in the front and on the back. So this is a premium camera bag. I think it's about $160 US. And these accessories are like between $30 and $40. So not overpriced. This is also an optional locking system. I say upgrade. I think it's like $8. Definitely worth it to get something like this. And uh, in case someone asks, this is my Cobalt Endurance A watch. And this is, uh, again, it's a Spyderco knife. And people always ask what sneaker I'm wearing. So on vacation, I decided to bring with me my Adidas Alpha Bounce. Uh, beyond uh, great shoe it's not as soft as the ultra boost but it does have a continental outsole here and very comfortable for travel I've worn these to Hong Kong and more than the Japan and great for kind of outdoorsy and all-day walking so thank you so much for watching and I will leave by doing a quick click click I'll use the Rico GR so thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon and happy shooting click 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 Peace. I thought I would actually show you another bag other than this woven cap. So when I'm out and about walking through the village with the camera girl, I use this camera bag here. But if I'm just going out for dinner, I'm, I'm not insane. If I'm going out for dinner, you know, a nice dinner, a nice restaurant, uh, like Araxi or maybe the uh, side cut restaurant, I'm not dragging this here. So take something a little bit small like this. You can sort of, it's, it's the Chrome Industries waste pack, but you can kind of carry it across this way, across your front or across your back, or just kind of 
hold it on your shoulder like this, but this is typically, so I'll bring both of these and this kind of acts like a dop kit for me. Um, this is now discontinued the colorway. This is sort of a, a see-through camel, but they do have the waist pack. Not a lot of money, but you can see you can actually put quite a bit of stuff in here. I actually do have the 35Ti, I do have the GR3, I have my main Leatherman, I have my wallet, I have my little Lytra light, and then in this little front section here, I have a notepad, I have a little tiny Swiss Army knife, because in a restaurant, if you're just trying to, I don't know, fix something, you look crazy taking on a full size, sort of a knife multi-tool, so I just always carry kind of two multi-tools, just in case, and then my little change pouch, and that's it. Fits inside this little kind of a fanny pack, waist pack so i'm i'm a huge fan of these waist pack fatty packs as sort of a, a light carry so this is for me this is considered light this is a light carry a kind of walk around carry vacation carry and this is kind of a light carry in fact when i'm driving i'll have this in the trunk and then this will be sort of right next to me so in case i need to jump out pay for gas or just kind of leave for a second i'm not always looking for this big bag i can just kind of grab this and i can arrange this so that this can fit right inside here but not with too many cameras so that's it